hope you and the fellas are well. Can you talk a little bit about continuing to build your program, put your stamp on this ball club, and again, uh, it's moving forward and, and doing things to win games? But I, I think this is another step, another part of that process. You know, we were coming off of two back-to-back -back wins and something that hadn't been done in a couple of years here. And um, it's something that we have to understand that it's, it's a week-to-week -week deal. It's a day-to-day -day deal. And uh, I don't know if we just uh, thought Norfolk State was going to come in and lay down for us or what the thought process was. I thought we had a good week of practice, but apparently we weren't, we weren't ready to play that first half of football. In order for a team to turn it on like we did during the second half, it showed our guys that we have the ability to play. Uh, so that's not, that's not the question. It's more so the mental piece of it now that we must understand what's needed on a daily basis in order to continue to move forward. And this is going to tell a lot about our club as well. You know, we're coming off a, a disappointing homecoming loss. Now you're pretty much playing one of the best teams in FCS football. How are you going to respond? You know, so I'm going to find out a lot about the character of my ball club this week. And, uh, you know, I look forward to it. Mr. Baker, Mr. Graham, and Mr. Wilkins, uh, just talk about the big three and, uh, you know, passing it around and running it and, and just being successful. Those, those guys are special. You know, those guys are still been becoming more comfortable and comfortable with each other each each week we play. Uh, Alfonso had a great uh, uh, statistical game this past week, but he also saw a lot of the reads he missed. He left a lot of yards on the field. Carson had some overthrows and, and some, saw some areas that he could improve on. So, but once again, those three guys are, are definitely uh, the backbone of our offense. And uh, in order for us to have set success on Saturday, success on Saturday, they must play at a high level. Coach, when you have a shorter week and you have to play a Thursday night game as opposed to a Saturday, and, and it looks like there's two or three days missing in the process in between, just talk about the short week and, and again, prepping and getting down to business, so to speak. I mean, we, we had to pretty much go right to work on Sunday. You know, typically Sunday is our lift day and film day. We pretty much had to try to get everything in on Sunday to, to introduce North Carolina Central to the guys. Of course, like I said, we were on the field this morning. Monday is normally our off day. So we just moved everything up a day, if that makes sense. Uh, so we'll have practice tomorrow, and uh, we'll hit the road Wednesday, and uh, we'll get down to, to Durham. We have another practice in and, uh, you know, be ready to roll Thursday night. Thank you, sir. Have